Hello my beautiful babies, I hope you guys are doing so so good and you're keeping warm if it is cold wherever it is that you are living. It is super musty and humid here in Miami so I feel like this is the only chance that I get to wear anything long sleeve and it's like super super thin and it's like a crop top, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I almost like flashed you guys. <laughs> But anyways, today I want to do a really like nice glittery glam. I'm really feeling on doing like a bold lip or something like that. So I don't know. We're going to see what I come up with. If you guys have not subscribed to my channel yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the fam here. I also have my socials down below. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Twitter and all that fun stuff. Uh, yep. Yeah. Let's jump right into the video. I feel like instead of using these clips... To clip my hair back, I need to use these clips because my bra keeps slipping out. Look at this. <sighs> Hold on. So anyways, first thing we're going to do is prime our face. I'm going to use the Pony Effect Hydrating Starter, which I, I literally use it every day. It's just so hydrating and awesome. Pony's prices are a little steep. But from what I have tried of hers so far, this stuff is pretty good quality. Now I'm gonna get some of the Benefit Professional and I'm going to put it on the areas where, oh, oh, I got way too much. Normally I get the tiniest bit and I just press it around my nose. I'm gonna put a little bit of Laneige Lip uh, Sleeping Mask. I don't really know how you pronounce that. I really like this sleeping mask but I use it right before I put makeup on so my lips get like moisturized if I know I'm gonna be wearing like a liquid lipstick or something like that because my lips do tend to get super crusty so the first thing I'm gonna do is get a little bit of this elf wax pen they have them in different colors but I get the clear one to just kind of brush the hairs down so they can stay in place now I'm gonna use the Anyas Anastasia Anastasia brow pomade on my brows and just fill them in as usual nothing new in that routine now I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer just to prime my eyelids and then I'm gonna set it with some translucent powder so we can move on to the eyeshadow since I'm predictable AF, I'm going to use the Morphe 352. I absolutely love this palette. Right here, you guys can see the video that I did trying out the palette for the first time, playing with it, reviewing it, all that stuff in case you want my like thorough opinion on it. I love this baby, so I'm definitely going to use that because I'm wearing like this nice top, so I want something like warm like that. I also want some glitters, so we'll see where it goes. But now I'm gonna start with this color as my transition shade right here. I'm gonna use my Sigma E40, which is a super, super fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna start working that shade into the crease. In case you don't know, the crease is this area right here between the brow bone and the eyelid. So I'm just working it in right there, super, super softly. Guys, today I tried a cake pop for the first official time from Starbucks. I have it right here with me. My sister hated it. She thought it was so disgusting and like mushy. But I, I don't hate it, but I don't think it's something I would ever go for. You know what I'm saying? It, it was like a peppermint chocolate. Let's see. See? It was peppermint chocolate. I'm mad at it. Now I want to go into a little bit of a deeper brown. Now I'm going to start working the browns in, kind of like in a gradient way. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going lightest to darkest. So I want to go in with, wait, what color was it? This color right here. And for this one, I'm using the Morphe R37. I really, really like this brush. It's super soft and super fluffy. So this color, I'm kind of just working it in to this outer part of the crease. I'm not bringing it all the way in. Just kind of deepening it up on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna go back in with the E40 I used first. Just make sure that is all blended out. Now I'm gonna grab this really nice chocolatey brown right here and I'm gonna really start now defining the outer part of my eye because what I am like envisioning is having like a really nice smoky brown right here and then putting like glitter 
here and then like a nice little wing oh, that is so beautiful i love this palette this has to be my current favorite palette the quality of these shadows and this brush is the morphe m433 this color i'm just gonna start pressing it in to my eyelid just so i can get a nice deposit of color and i'm gonna bring it in about halfway and then now that I've deposited it, I'm gonna give it a little bit of like a wiggle right here. Just so whatever is left on the brush can just come off and it can just blend out. You see how that like is a little blended right here? Now, we have less product on the brush. Right here, you see how the product has naturally moved up a little bit into the crease? I'm gonna very, very softly blend that out. Very softly. You can bring it up as high as you want. You can keep it low. Oop. You can keep it low like how I have it. Whatever it is that you want. But what I'm doing is just keeping it right there. Not bringing it up too high. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. Whoo! That looks beautiful. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation and concealer. I wanna get that out of the way before I go and do like the under eyes and my wing glitter and lashes and all that stuff. Just because I wanna finish that all together instead of like hopping too much. So today for foundation, I'm gonna grab the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. This is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. Good match. And it is super, super hydrating. I do have normal to dry skin. So for like holiday events and things like that, I know I'm gonna have makeup on for quite a while. So I like to put on a really nice hydrating foundation. And especially since I put way too much of the Benefit Professional under, that is mattifying. I don't want it to dry my skin out. For concealer, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. It's the same one I used to prime my lids. This is a pretty thick concealer, so if you have super dry under eyes, you might wanna steer from this one. You can try the Urban Decay, um, what's it called? It was like, it has like a, it's like light wage, light wage, lightweight coverage concealer. It has like a, a long ass name. But that one is really nice and it's much thinner. I like this one because it's thick and I'm going to carve out this part right here by the eye. So I'm going to just kind of take it up a bit at an angle like that. So that just cleans up that eyeshadow. Then I'm going to use my same damp sponge. And I'm going to start pressing it into the under eyes. Now I'm going to go on with my Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder and I'm going to just press that in with the same sponge super softly so for the under eyes i'm basically going to use the same exact colors in the same exact order and just build it up and just like blend it out getting tighter and tighter to the lash line so in other words i'm going to use this sigma e25 and i'm going to use the same color i used as my transition shade Nothing broke. And I'm going to really lightly start blending that out. And then I'm gonna go into the second color I used, blend that in, then into the third color, blend that in. So while I do this, let's do a little bit of chatting. I also wanna start incorporating a little bit of like fashion in here because I really, really like clothes i feel like when you guys see things i wear it's basically on the vlogs on trips i take to go to the concerts but what i wear to concerts is super super simple i just kind of put together a lot of basics just because i feel like concerts i want to be comfortable like you need to be comfortable you're jumping around it gets hot especially sometimes when you're waiting in line for ga Never again, unless I absolutely have to. I'm not doing a GA show. I don't know, do you guys wanna see that? Like me do some like fashion videos? I don't know, you guys let me know. Like this is, 
this is a team effort you guys gotta let me know what you want to see if you're like interested in something like that because i'm definitely interested in sharing with you guys i could do like winter lookbook i do like i guess repurposing things so recently what i did this is one of my new projects i haven't finished it yet in toronto we were walking and if you guys you guys might know that i am like super like i'm like a curious person so when i travel i go into random like i'll just we'll just be walking i'm like oh let's turn here and they're all like okay and then we turn here and then we go into random places and we just like get lost in the city really back to what i was going to say so we walked into this thrift store that we found and I found this beautiful, very like simple, plain, oversized camo jacket. And I was like, oh my God. So I don't know. Do you guys want me to vlog that? Or do you want me to make a separate video? I can do like you guys can be with me when I vlog. You guys can be with me when I repurpose that specific jacket and I'll vlog it for Vlogmas. And then like I'll do another video where I show you guys how to kind of, you know, repurpose a jacket, make it your own, you know, like a little DIY thing because I really want this channel to be like beauty and lifestyle because I feel like I'm really passionate about makeup. I really like clothes. I really like travel. So we can, I don't know. We can talk about all those things. I'm super open to talking about all that stuff. So the darkest brown, I'm stopping it right here, like about halfway, the same that I stopped this one. Just to kind of keep that same look going on. I brought out this baby right here. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, but this is the shimmer one. So I want to throw some shimmer in there in the inner corner. This is so beautiful on its own. Like, look at how pretty this eye look is. But I want to throw in some shimmer. We're feeling a little festive, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go in to this color right here first. This is such a pretty color, so naturally your girl is going to use it. I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on this packing brush. This is a MAC 242. When you spray setting spray on or eye drops or water on a packing brush, that's called foiling. So if you ever hear someone say that, this is what they're doing when they're gonna foil a shadow, this is it. It just makes the shadow pop up more, like it shows brighter and it's just, it just looks so much prettier. I'm gonna just start softly packing that in. It gives such a nice, soft, champagne-y look. It has a bit of fallout. It could be because of the eyeshadow or just because I'm an animal. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of lining. I was gonna say a little bit of a wing, but I don't think I'm gonna do a wing. I think I'm kinda gonna stop it halfway, maybe like blend a little bit of black eyeshadow. I said I'm not gonna do a wing, comes back with a whole last wing. I changed my mind halfway. I was like, you know what? I don't wanna incorporate any black. So here I am with a wing. I feel like anything I tell you guys, you guys are like, oh, okay. So the days I'm like, mm, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a natural look. You guys are like, yeah, that's exactly what she's gonna do. So natural. Now I'm using my fave mascara, L'Oreal Telescopic, to just darken up the lashes, get that powderiness off so I can put some falsies. I'm gonna use the Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. Those are my favorite lashes besides the Huda Beauty um, Sasha, I believe. Those are my favorite lashes for like glam looks. I, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. Now I'm using some of the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black, just with any old angled brush. This is the MAC 266, but you obviously don't need a MAC brush. Just any tiny brush that you feel comfortable putting in your waterline. Okay, now that I got the falsies on, I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Dutsa de Leche Contour Palette, which I hit pan. I love using this. I'm gonna use this shade, Ovi, to do a little bit of contouring with this Eco Tools fan brush. I have really been loving contouring with a nice fluffy fan brush lately because I just feel like it gives me like a really 
nice defined contour but it like diffuses it at the same time so if you've been having a little bit of trouble with contouring give it a whirl with this fan brush i believe they sold it with this brush it was like a highlighting contouring duo but i was like Ugh, using it backwards i'm using this one for contouring and the other one actually i used the other one for bronzing too my nose has been so watery every time i do my makeup my nose gets so watery i'm about to just bronze with this in my nose like legit not even kidding i've had to stop the camera a million times now i'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade right here and just pack it under the eye just to add a little bit of brightness under the eye because sometimes it can get a little washed out with all the bronzing and putting color on the under eye so i'm putting it on the high points where i kind of want it to stand out a bit now i'm gonna grab the mac bronzer and give me sun and i'm grabbing this brush this is also eco tools i've been obsessed with their brushes lately and i'm just gonna do a nice little wash of it all around my face where the sun would normally hit so right here on the forehead on the cheeks over where i contoured for highlighter i'm gonna use this sephora illuminator in stardust this is really pretty i haven't used it in a hot minute so I'm gonna use it today. It has a really, really nice, like yellow tone to it. So pretty. Now I'm not a big fan of blush. I mean, I do like it on certain occasions, but I usually just use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Crown of My Canopy as like a nice little like blush. It's more like a blush topper, but I use it as if it were blush because it shows up rosy and since it has some gold reflex in it I feel like it's a really nice dupe for the NARS orgasm blush and it I don't know it just looks so nice with highlighters that have like a nice gold undertone now I'm going to set my face before putting on lip I still don't know what I'm gonna use for lip but we'll figure it out together I normally love using brown lip liner under any lipsticks I put, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use this ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Notion. It's kind of like a berry color, but it's the darkest thing I could find right now. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Liquid, ca liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the color Video Vixen. It's a really nice, like, deep red to avoid any of that like crustiness and so colors can come out really dark i go and i do one layer and then i get a napkin and i just and i peel it off and then i go back in with another layer okay my beautiful baby so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really really had a lot of fun doing it i am so proud of the way it came out i think it is gorgeous i think it's super sultry very like gorgeous wintry glam i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so 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 much for watching thank you guys for supporting me for loving me and i will see you guys in my next video bye